Today I have to teach you how to differentiate the exponential function. And after the exponential function, I have to teach the logarithmic function. All right? So we see how we get on. If y is equal to e to the x, well, when you differentiate the exponential function, you get e to the x. If it's not e to the x, how will I differentiate? Chain rule. So that's that thought. Yes? If it's not e to the x, it's a chain rule. If y was equal to e to the power of 5x, what has it now become according to ourselves? A function of a function. What's the first function? 5x, and then get the e to that power. So you let u equal to the 5x, and y becomes e to the power of u. The u dx is equal to 5, and the y du is equal to e to the u. And from that, then, the y dx is equal to the y du by the u dx which is equal to dy du by 5, which is 5 e to the u, 5x. So I taught you nothing there today, except the derivative of e to the x is what? e to the x. e to the 5x, you're telling me, is a function of a function. So how do you differentiate it? That's the chain. Ooh. So that's all it is, and there is nothing else to it. If y was equal to e to the power of minus 10x. It's a function of a function. u is minus 10x, and y is equal to e to the u. The u dx is differentiate minus 10x, and the y du is differentiate e to the u, and therefore dy dx is equal to dy du by du dx. dy du e to the u by minus 10, which is minus 10 times e to the minus 10. If y was equal to e to the power of sine 2x, that's a function of a function of a function. So it's two chain rules. What would I have to do there? 2x. And then get its sine, and then get the e to that power. So I have to let u equal to sine 2x, and y becomes e to the power of u. The u dx, how do you differentiate sine 2x? It's a chain rule. It could become 2 cos 2x. And the y du is, how do you differentiate e to the u? So therefore, the y dx is equal to the y du by the u dx. The y du, e to the u by 2 cos 2x, which is twice cos 2x times e to the u, e to the power of sine 2x. Again, there is no new max there in the slightest that wasn't there previously. If y is equal to e to the 5x, over 2x. What have I now got? I have a quotient. Why is it a quotient? Well, I have a function in x divided by a separate function in x. So u is equal to e to the 5x, and b is equal to 2x. The u dx is, how do you differentiate e to the 5x? Well, that's a chain. I've already changed it, changed it, it's 5e to the 5x. And the dx, how do I differentiate 2x? It's 2. And then the y dx is v du dx minus u dv dx all over v to the square. v 2x times the u dx, 5e to the 5x minus u 
e to the 5x times dv dx2 all over v to b squared 2x to b squared. So that's 10x times e to the 5x minus twice e to the 5x all over 4x squared. I could factorize the top. What could I take out that's common? Twice e to the 5x. Take out e to the 5x and 2 out of that and left with 5x. Minus all that is taken out. 1 all over 4x squared. 2 will go into that 4. Why can I divide that 2 in? It's a factor. So that's e to the 5x times 5x minus 1 all over 2x squared. Any questions? Had that sum have been y equal to e to the 5x all over e to the 2x, I could have used the rules of indices. Yes? Because it's to the same base. I could say that's y equal to the 5x minus 2x, because when you're dividing indices, what do you do with the powers? Subtract. That's the same as y equal to e to the here. And then the y dx on that will be a simple train rule 3e to the 3x. So we would write always for a leaving search student before you differentiate it, an exponential function. You check if you can use the rules of indices. y is equal to e to the x squared plus 1 over e to the 3x minus 3. Many students would call that a quotient rule. That would have a chain rule on the top and a chain rule on the bottom. If I, you give me exponential differentiation, I will ask myself, can I use the rules of indices? And I can. If it's e to a power divided by e to the power. So that's the same as y equal to e to the power of x squared plus 1 minus 3x minus 3. And that's y equal to e to the x squared minus 3x plus 4. So now instead of a quotient rule with two chain rules, it's now just a chain rule. How would I differentiate that? u is equal to x squared minus 3x plus 4. And y is equal to e to what power? The u dx is equal to 2x minus 3. And the y du is equal to e to the u. And then the y dx is the y du by the u dx. It will work out as 2x minus 3 times e to the u x squared minus 3x plus 4. Right? And beware... When the rules of indices can be used, it has to be y equal to e to some power divided by e to the some power. I'd look at that and I'd say to myself, exponential differentiation. I would next say to myself, can I use the rules of indices to simplify that? And the answer to that question is no. Why? Well, these pluses and minus. It's not e to a power divided by e to the power. So what is it then? It's a quotient root. I have to let u equal to e to the x plus e to the minus x, 
and v is equal to e to the x minus e to the minus x. The u dx is equal to, differentiate e to the x, e to the x. e to the minus x, minus e to the minus x. Yes, because that minus x, when I differentiate, will give me what? Minus <coughs> 10. dv dx is equal to, differentiate e to the x, e to the x. Minus e to the minus x, plus e to the minus x. And then dy dx is equal to v du dx minus u dv dx all over v to b squared. V, e to the x, minus e to the minus x, times the u dx, e to the x, minus e to the minus x, minus u, e to the x, plus e to the minus x, by the v dx, e to the x, plus e to the minus x, all over v to the squared, e to the x, minus e to the minus x to b squared. So could I multiply out the top? e to the x by e to the x. e to the 2x. When you're multiplying indices, what do you do with the power? Yeah. And e to the x by minus e to the minus x. Minus e to the 0. Minus e to the minus x by e to the plus x. Minus e to the 0. Minus e to the minus x by minus e to the minus x plus e to the minus 2x. e to the x by e to the x. e to the 2x with a minus outside. e to the x by e to the minus x. e to the 0 with a minus outside. e to the minus x by e to the x e to the 0 with a minus outside, e to the minus x by e to the minus x, e to the minus 2x, minus e to the minus 2x, all over v to be squared, and minus 4 e to the 0, all over e to the x, Minus e to the minus x to be squared. What's e to the 0? 1. So that's minus 4 over e to the x plus e to the minus x to be squared. I think that's enough on the exponential function. You also have the luxury of going back and looking at more classes on the exponential function that will be on your... Um, <coughs>